Well, it has been an incredible week. And now for more highlights on the expo, I'm joined by Ryan Patel, who's with us on the line from California. Ryan, what would you judge as the success for this first ever China Import Expo? Well, I think the biggest thing is the attendance and who attended. I think when you see celebrities like Jack Ma and Bill Gates and multiple uh, business leaders show up to this and and kind of pushing not just the message of China about this global trade and then you see a lot of the foreign leaders that come like El Salvador for example a smaller countries actually won quite a bit and so I think that you know this wasn't an empty building this was a full full force of a lot of trade talks and for the hopes for the future and I think that is the key message for this conference is there's deals being done now but it sets up for what will come in the next you know, year or two or in the short term as well. You know, Ryan, one of the criticisms was that the Americans weren't really there in any senior capacity, but I see that there were some deals done during the course of the week involving American partners of Chinese companies. Could you explain that to me? I mean, how, how much of a presence was there representing America there? Well, I mean, you talk about the private companies. You look at Google, Johnson & Johnson, GM, they were all there. now. This is not the first time where maybe in the past histories where, you know, maybe someone from the government or high officials had showed up to a conference or not. But when you talk about the business community, everybody had eyes on. And you took about what happened yesterday, the announcement American Express will be coming into China the first time that a U.S. credit card company will be having its clear card services. Okay. That's a big deal, right? And I think obviously this is at the tail end of the expo and business is still going forward regardless if there was any maybe policy makers there or not. Okay, good. Thanks for clarifying that. Now, what message do you think President Xi was sending on Monday in his powerful address when he spoke about importing more goods and opening up China's economy. What, what was he saying, you know, at this time in the middle of the trade war? What was his message? Well, I think there's a few. The first point is that he was trying to prove that, hey, you know, they are open and they're trying to make changes and they've, 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 they've moved a long way from 40 years ago. I think the second piece here, this is important for me, is that, you know, in the future, the Chinese um, population continues to grow, that they know, China knows that they will have to import and they will have to get more goods. And this is the time, I think, that they're putting some focus so it sets up for the future for them so it doesn't come to the last minute where they need all these goods. And I think the last message, I think, is to their to the Chinese citizens is that, you know, we're, they're trying to create partnerships so it's a win-win situation for okay. the companies and consumers uh, internally as well. So, next stop, Argentina and the G20. Do you think that this expo has set the stage for a meaningful meeting between President Xi and President Trump, assuming it goes ahead in Argentina? I think it creates a conversation to start somewhere. When you say meaningful, obviously, when I think meaningful, it means this is going to end. The trade war will end. I think the, it's a great start, conversation starter because I think you can point to examples where both sides are winning. There's companies in the U.S. that are winning and in China they're partner, partnering with. And now the question becomes, how do you get more in detail and create more of a deeper partnership that both sides wants? I think that's a great way to start the conversation from starting, instead of starting from scratch. Right. And just finally, how might this expo improve the cooperation between domestic Chinese companies and their global partners going forward, presumably I think it, many years ahead? I, I think it creates a lot of awareness. I, I think, you know, you look at you look, strong presence from Latin America to companies that maybe those companies that are in China would have not had exposure to. Um, I think that created a lot of awareness that I'm actually pretty interested in next year when they set this up, how, what other countries are going to come in and what bigger companies are going to be coming. Ryan, that's excellent analysis, as always, from you. We're grateful. Thank you very much.